Hey everyone, it's your boy here. Thank you for joining me on another video. I'm just kind of ranting about my experience in VR. And today's subject is, has VR become my dominant way of gaining? Now, the reason why I have brought this subject up because on a Facebook, Oculus Facebook page, someone else asked that question. And I kind of was reading through and seeing what people were saying. You know, everybody's pretty positive, but there still was a lot of people on there saying that, no, VR has not become their main gaming of choice, right? And so it got me to think about it, right? Hmm, has VR become my main gaming thing of choice? Well, before I answer that, like I said, I did this subject about a year ago, you know, and in doing that, back then my answer you know was pretty much no and the reason being back then was i just didn't see or play any game that was as exciting and as intense as some of the better triple a titles out there now over this time period has that changed now over this time period there's been a lot of great games that have come out you know um there's a couple standouts for me as a seated vr gamer and which is what we're here for right to talk about games that stand out for us seated vr gamers all right so the very first one top of my list serious sam the vr fusion you know currently right now i have all i have i don't have the um what is it the I have first encounter, second encounter, and BF, BF, um, E, which I guess is before first encounter, you know, whatever that is. Love those games, you know what I mean? Love them to death. Love them, right? I'll come back to that later. Now, so another game that has been phenomenal for seated uh, VR gameplay, but could use a little bit of tweaking. And yes, I've been, you know, ranting at the developers to try and get these tweaks in in order to make for a more, um, you know, seated experience, seated friendly experience for their game. All right, but enough with that said. So these, and that game would be um, Gunheart. You know, Gunheart is. Gunheart VR is a phenomenal game. Alright, it's still in early access, so they still have a ways to go, but they're polishing it up and it's looking very, very good. Alright. And there is a couple games coming down the pipe, but I haven't been able to play it. They haven't had their beta yet. And I'm hoping to get into the beta to try it out and maybe give my impression of it. And that is Seeking Dawn. Alright? So those those are the games that kind of have me like, ooh, yes. This is what I've been hoping for. Now, I just mentioned three games, two of which I own. One I'm hoping is going to be good, but I haven't played it yet. Right? And so I guess within that fact that I just mentioned three games that I, you know what I mean? Well, I'll say two for now. That I mentioned two games that I really like in VR. That kind of answers my question, right? That no, VR has not become my dominant way of gaming. Um, there is games that people love that is just does nothing for me, and that's game like Onward, um, you know, and anything in that vein of um, VR game. Pretty much anything that's pretty much geared mostly towards 360 play or room scale, like bores the hell out of me i do not find those games intense at all you know um i don't know i just they don't do anything for me you know it's it's like I, when i do stand up and play a little bit i'm kind of just like uh whatever i'm just going through the motions and I, I honestly, when I stand it, I don't turn around. I don't really move much. I stand up and I face forward. And, and after a while, I just feel like I want to sit down. So I get no enjoyment out of being standing, which is why I started this seated VR 
um, thing and hopefully there's a lot of you guys out there that are just like me that will pay attention to this page and then we can kind of start a good group and discussion here and in ways of better in VR games for us to see the gamer right so now <clears throat> what could they do in order to make game VR games better so they compete better against these triple A titles well first things first is port these triple A titles into VR like I was just playing um, Halo 5 the other day all right I was babysitting my um, my sister's dogs and so I went over there and she has the Xbox that I gave her when I built my new PC and so I'm like oh my god I really miss playing Halo I'm gonna fire up Halo 5 and play through it and as I was playing through it I was just I just had this feeling like wow this movement in this game is phenomenal the way he's just like you know I, I was using my boost like shave right shave left you know um, jump up and clamber onto um, higher levels and and all kinds of things and, and, and the whole entire time I was thinking like why doesn't VR feel like this why doesn't VR feel as visceral and as intense and, and just moving all over the place in order to get things done why doesn't it feel that way you know and and it makes me think of a game like what is it raw data that everyone loves loves love loves and it's not a bad game you know it's just it's not a bad game but it really doesn't um foster movement like you could pretty much stand into three different locations on the map and clear each map off easily you know i got to like level seven before i was just like i'm immensely bored in this game i feel i don't feel pushed i don't feel um no 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 i just i don't get that sensation like like oh my god that was just such a riveting fight that that oh my god i felt like such a badass you know what i mean now those people who are doing standing or room scale i can see why and how they would feel this was an intense game for them you know um because movement is extremely slow you know what i mean the enemies is extremely slow moving and you know, there's one guy who kind of like comes, you know, he drops down like a football player and he comes running at you and, and try to do something. And, and I guess if you're standing, you can kind of maybe jump to the side and get out of his way or something like that. And I see how that could be intense for, for people. But with me moving with my controller, when this guy goes into that position and I shave right i mean like he misses me by a mile he's not even close you know and i don't think i think i've might have gotten hit by that maybe like once or twice the whole entire time i've ever played that game and and i and to compare that to like halo where these enemies are they're flanking they're jumping to higher grounds or moving around you know what i mean they're in most vr game they're like a straight line coming directly to you and i mean where's the where's the fun in that there's nothing to that and even the games that i love kind of you know has this issue too where they kind of seem to be coming at you in a straight line um serious sam now that sometimes suffers from that but a lot of times these enemies are coming from you all over the place and it makes for a phenomenal experience you know and i just love that about that game if you're not playing that game as a seated vr gamer who can handle full locomotion you're missing out you know what i mean because 
that game is phenomenal. Well, I'm going to bring this subject to a close, everyone. Just go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. And, and let's keep this going because I want to keep growing this page and finding subject and making VR better for us seated gamers out there. Um, my next video is going to be on haptic chair. Right? Isn't this freaking crazy? I, what I'm going to do is I'm ordering parts in order to build a haptic chair. There's been a couple of um, YouTubers out there that has done that. Um, but I'll explain that in the next video when I talk about building my haptic chair because I could rant on about what I'm about to do. But come back, people. It's going to be very exciting. So like I said, hit that subscribe button. Be here next week when I um, break out the haptic chair. And, and talk about it in full. All right, people, one.